Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, earlier today I posted something on my Instagram story about bringing some new content and some ideas to my channel. The feedback that I got in my DMs from you guys um, blew me away, so that's why I'm bringing you guys some new content. So today's video, as you can tell, is a DIY do-it-yourself. This is more skincare based, and this is actually something I used when I was struggling with acne years ago when I was a teenager. I don't know if you guys can see on the camera, I am like breaking out from my monthly friend. It sucks, but it's to the point where I'm thankful that I do have clear skin when I do, and I don't have the acne that I had when I was in my teens. It was the most difficult thing ever. I hate talking about it because it's like, I hated my skin at that point. Always know that there is a light at the end of the tunnel and you will get through the hard times with your skin. I know how it feels, and I feel like going through having acne, you're more appreciative of your skin, but also of others who are struggling with it. And not that you are unappreciative when you see others with acne, it's just the point that you can kind of feel what they're going through. It sucks, it's hard, it's, it's a, something that you have to face in life, and it sucks that that has to be one of your obstacles, but I'm telling you, just care for your skin, and you know, do what's right for your skin. Like I said, today's DIY is something that I've used that has helped benefit my skin in multiple ways. I guess you guys can consider it like an exfoliant slash mask. I do have another DIY in mind that I also use for my acne treatments. So if you guys like this video, definitely give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and comment below if you guys wanna see that DIY. I can film that one for you guys. With this DIY, only two ingredients are gonna be used, which is pretty cool. So you actually might even have these products in your own home at the moment. So you guys are probably wondering why a lime. Limes are enriched with vitamin C and has a lot of antioxidants. So really all that you're gonna need is just like a little container. You can use like a plate, if like just a flat plate if you want. I'm just gonna use this because this is what I just saw when I first opened the cabinet. You can use salt, so you're definitely probably most likely gonna have this in your cabinets. You can use sea salt, regular salt, kosher salt, whatever salt you wanna use. I'm just using regular salt. And then also a whole lime. Use a lemon if you'd like, or you can even use like the lemon or lime juice that they sell at the grocery store. When I did this remedy years ago, I used a whole lime. And I'm gonna be using a little spoon. Of course, I would grab like the biggest knife. I could use a smaller one, but that would be a little dramatic for this video. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take the salt and just fill the whole spoon up. This is about a teaspoon, are you fucking kidding me? Go ahead and just pour it into my container. You can use more salt if you'd like. So next I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna take the lime and I'm gonna cut the lime right in half. I love the smell of lime. Reminds me of margaritas. Let's just cut the lime into two halves. One half of the lime, I'm gonna go ahead and just squeeze all of that juice, as much as you can get out of it. Next, I'm gonna take the spoon and I'm just gonna stir that. If you want it a little bit thicker, um, definitely you can add some more salt. All right, you guys, so I took the other half and I already cut those into two smaller halves. You're gonna see that I'm actually gonna be using this as my applicator. So I did add more salt. I didn't realize how much lime juice I squeezed out. And I'm actually gonna take a spoonful of the product that we have in the container and I'm going to put it on top of the lime. I don't know if you guys can see this. So I'm literally taking that lime and just using the half of the lime that we cut as my applicator. You can use your fingers, but like I said, lime juice has such good um, benefits to it for your skin. Why not just use the whole lime? And this can exfoliate, but I love using it as a mask. So I am going to apply that all over. And you can cut these into like fours if you want something a little bit smaller to target certain areas. But personally, I'm okay with using the lime at a half size cut. And what's nice about this is you instantly feel the cooling sensation. My lime was in the refrigerator. So like putting this on my skin, it's so refreshing. And I'm literally just doing circular motions. So like I said, this personally helped me out with my acne scarring, so like dark spots, blackheads. And I really like to get the nose because that's where the majority of my blackheads are. 
Now I'm gonna leave it on for 10 minutes. I'm gonna let it harden and get a little bit more dry. This is why I like to use it more so as a mask. Since I've been really oily, this kind of helps balance out the oils on my skin, but I'm still gonna add in hydration afterwards. So I just washed my face and pat dried my skin. So now I'm gonna go in with a moisturizer. Since it did somewhat exfoliate, we kinda of wanna give our skin back that love and nourishment that it needs and that hydration. So I'm gonna be using the Belief Aqua Balm, and this is the gel one, but I love a gel-based moisturizer. It's like one of my favorites. My skin already feels super smooth. It feels clean, and I think it's from like the lime and I feel like it's like fresh in a way. And this is something, like I said, that my grandmother from my mom's side, I miss her so much and I love her so much and I can't wait to see her and grandpa. But um, she told my mom and I about this when I was really struggling with acne and it did benefit my skin in so many ways. So I'm thankful for that. Let me know if you guys have ever tried this or if this is completely new to you. Try this at home. Like I said, you can substitute the lime for lemons, but I just had limes here and I've always used limes. I hope you guys enjoyed the DIY with some new content to my channel. I know I look so different without makeup, but um, I don't want to wear makeup for this. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see the other DIY mask that I have um, that I've actually used before. Give this video a big thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to my channels. Go ahead and follow me on my social media accounts. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.